Today, we're gonna turn this log into something awesome. Hello, everybody, I'm Kindly Kian, and I'm gonna turn wood into things. And this is how I'm gonna do it. Uh, we have to turn, oh my gosh, okay. So, like, I, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I think that I need to just shave off everything here like that and then this this needs to go way down right yeah okay 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 i i kind of sort of understand what i'm doing i feel like i need a different tool for this i don't know what i'm doing okay but this is really satisfying oh my gosh look at that oh that's so cool oh we're getting in there now Okay, I gotta, I gotta get this thing down to to an appropriate level. I, I think we're making a, a lamp or an umbrella of some sort, it seems like. Nice and easy. It's not perfect, but that's what makes it interesting, right? Yeah, this seems all right. Okay, okay, now let's, let's do the, the umbrella part of it. I guess that's what this is called. Just gotta grind it down ever so slightly. Nice, nice and easy. Oh gosh, this is very scary. I feel like I'm gonna ruin everyone's day if I mess this up. And I don't wanna ruin anyone's day. Also, who wants an umbrella made out of wood? Seems like a very poor use of, of the resource. Okay, okay, that's, that's, that seems pretty good. You got a little nub on the top? Yeah, it's not terrible. I just gotta get rid of this whole section. Get rid of all of it. Just make it go away. Completely. There's a section that needs to get cut off, and I don't know how to do that. Okay, there, there, there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll just, we'll just ease it in there. Just ease it. It's not. Where? Wait. Come back. I'm, I'm losing. I'm losing here. It's not working the way that I thought it was going to work. Oh, no. I've. Oh, okay. I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, it's not great, but it's not terrible. This is my first time ever doing this. Can I clean this up, you think? I would love to, to make this look a little bit better. I don't feel like I'm making it look better. I feel like I'm making it look worse. No, I'm making it so much worse. Okay, just move on. Don't make it any worse. What is this thing? What? Oh, is this like a, a stain? Oh, it's sanding. Okay, I'm sanding it. That's definitely something that seems like I should be doing. Kind of get those rough edges off. All right, you know, I mean, it's it's helping. It's helping it. I don't, I don't know how much more I need to do here. This is very satisfying, by the way. It, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um. Yeah. <laughs> what color do we want to go with? I like a, a blue umbrella. I'm good with that. Let's spray paint it. Okay. Sure. What does this little finger do? Oh, it, wait, what? Oh, so I can actually see the, the spray paint, I guess. Can I mix colors? Like I can do, ooh, okay, that's kind of neat. I don't know if that's what the customer wants, but it looks neat. What? What is this? What does this do? I don't know what the, I don't know what any of these, oh, oh, okay. Let's go with that one. And then, um, <laughs> I put like a, a, a couple of heart face emojis on there. I don't even know what I'm going for here. And some fire. Yeah, cause this thing is fire. Oh, hey, hey, oh, I can't believe that it said that's a 99%. I'll take that all day. I thought that was gonna be a, an F for fantastic. I really thought that was gonna be a much worse score. I'm so happy with that. Let's make another thing. And the daily bonus, sweet. I think this is like a, a potion bottle from like an RPG. So this should be something that uh, is, is probably very difficult to make because it's so round. But hopefully we can get the shape right. Also, I got these other tools. I don't, I don't know, like, if I should be using these. This one seems kind of nice for for getting these, these like rounded edges, maybe. 
our potion bottle has like a, a point on the end though, and I don't love that. But that's just kind of the way things are right now. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Good, good, good. Nice. Nice. Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. I feel like I'm doing something. I'm doing something good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. I can't quite get those, like, those sharp edges, though. So I think I need this tool to do that. Okay. Just gotta get that little edge right there. And then remember, the next phase of this is sanding. Which should clean up a lot of these, these harsh edges. Also, I gotta get rid of this thorn on the bottom of this thing. Get out of here. You got, like, a bee stinger. Okay, this section scares me. I, oh man, just gotta, just gotta get around. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty clean. I'm gonna clean up that little edge right there. Oh, all right, all right. I'm very pleased with, with how that turned out. And then just get rid of all this. I mean, I think a little bit of sanding and, and we're good. Let's go to the next phase. Let's start sanding. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, I am going to have to get the, the little nub. Okay, and then I probably need to make my sanding tool a little bit smaller so I can get into these sections right here. I need to make it smaller. Yeah, that seems uh, a little bit smaller. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, it's so smooth. Oh, ho, ho. I love it. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, man. A, a rainbow potion would be pretty sweet. Let's just go red. Like, red is always, like, the healing potion, right? So, we'll... I, maybe I can do, like, the bottom section in red. So that it looks like it's full of that life-saving elixir. And then we can do like the top half, like with this this like two-tone blue. It's kind of neat looking. Or you know what? What well, we just did like gray. That looks awesome. Do I add a pattern? I don't know if the pattern is really playing out here. No, it's not. No, this is perfect. No faces. I don't need no weird happy faces on my potions. I really thought this was going to be 100%. I thought we nailed it 98%. I mean, I'll take it, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed in myself. I could have done better. I love the way that turned out, though. Oh, now I'm opening chests. Okay. It's just money. I'm not complaining, but what do I do with the money? <laughs> I guess I, I buy extra tools, right? What is this? Oh, they're decals. Okay. Should we make a rocket ship or a hot air balloon? Let's make a rocket ship. That seems like a challenge. Bring it on. I would like to get these other tools. I feel like they would help me, especially that like skinny one with the flat edge on it. I guess I just watch an ad. Now, the question I have, though, is that once I unlock that tool, does it stay unlocked or do I have to watch an ad every time I want to use it? That would be annoying. Either way, we have access to this tool now. And so, I'm going to use it to get these, these like, really, really fine edges right here. And this thing's great. This is, this is a great tool. It's it's kind of uh, delicate, I would say. Like, it's very easy to, to mess it up with this thing. But look at, look at me staying across that line. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, yes. Whew. That was kind of stressful. Let's get back in there. I just needed to take a little breather. Was a, that was a tough little section. This one, hmm, this one's not lining up the way that I'm I'm thinking it should. Maybe if I clean up this bottom section and then just follow the edge. That's, this is not. Ugh. I don't like that. I'm going to switch to this tool and see if it helps me get this section a little bit cleaned up. Come on. I just need to. I can't seem to get this right here. Why? No! No, it went too far. <laughs> oh, I'm so upset. You ruined my rocket ship. And by you, I mean me. All right, fine. Is this salvageable? Yes. Is it going to be perfect? No. Am I mad about it? A little. 
I wonder if I needed that that fine point one. You see that one at the bottom that comes to a, a sharp point? I wonder if that one would help me at all. Like I said, I've never done this before. It's super, super fun. Now we just sand this back section of our rocket, though. It makes me, makes me sad. But look how nice that is now that we've cleaned it up. Oh, yeah. Look at this. You can pick, like, very specific colors. That's kind of cool. I like the idea of this, like, two-tone orange rocket. So I'm going to watch the ad. Let's see how this looks. This should be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's a sweet looking rocket that will never fly to outer space. Should we give it some some pizzazz? How do I? Oh, OK. Now it looks like one of those things that's on the outside of a barber shop. That seems pretty good. Do some red checkers. Yes, absolutely. And then you need fire. I wish I could turn the fire upside down so that the, the fire is like pointing down like it's the engines launching. But that still looks pretty cool. I love the way this turned out. Let's see how the game thinks it turned out. 98%. Man, getting 100% will feel so good. Maybe one day. I just need to hone my craft. A traffic cone? That seems pretty good. We can make an arrowhead. <laughs> or a... A tube of toothpaste? It's kind of weird. I love the idea of doing a traffic cone. Even though it's a simple shape, it's funny. And that's what truly matters. Hey, and by the way, once you unlock the tool, you get to keep the tool. That's awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and unlock all of the tools. One hour later. Okay, now I have all the tools. Now, do I know how to use these tools? No. <laughs> But at least I have them now. I kind of want to see what this pointy one does. I mean, obviously, it, it draws some, some really, like, small lines. But it also is completely ruining my cone. No. Okay, don't don't use that one. That one's... Is, that's, a, that's a high level tool that I'm not ready to use. Oh, gosh. Oh, my, my poor traffic cone. See, I went way too far at the bottom. It looks really bad. It looks so bad. Oh, no. What have I done? Okay, let's get rid of this whole section. Just just chop it away. Just grind it away. Oh, it's so satisfying. Okay, I would like to, to clean off this top little nose of the traffic cone. There's still like a little toothpick sticking out of the top. All right, we'll come back for that. Maybe. I don't know. I kind of like it. No, get rid of it. Huh! I can't. No, did I? Yeah, I think it's gone. Maybe. Okay, and then obviously this whole thing just is a disaster. This is just this, this bottom section. I messed it up so bad. Get rid of all of this. Oh, yeah. I love getting rid of these big chunks. There you go. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like I could just clean up this right here, maybe. Okay, kind of looks like the nose of an anteater. Let's sand it. Try to fix this section right here. This is really where I, I royally messed it up. Okay, I might be able to smooth this down. You can see that the, the edge is, is getting a little bit cleaner. Okay, just get the top. Yeah, th you know, yeah, th that's actually a lot better than what it was before. And then if I can just get this section sanded down. I'm pleased with these results. Sanding has saved us. Thank you. And then obviously we got to make it orange. But uh, traffic cones also have like that, that white reflective sort of look on them. But what's the, the pattern of that? It's a great looking traffic cone. I'm so proud of it. Do we just do like that <laughs> or that? <laughs> that would be a fun traffic cone to see. That's exciting. That's also exciting. That looks like something that belongs on a racetrack. Yeah, I like this one. And then you put like this guy on it. Like, stop. He's asking nicely. Please stop. 
or you will die. That's the best traffic cone that I think has ever been created. And I disagree with your rating of 92%. Who put you in charge, game, of judging my art? I'm offended. <laughs> Maybe more than anything else, I'm just hurt. All right, let's make something new. Something good. Sure, give me the money. I still don't entirely know what to spend the money on but thank you. Ice cream? Oh my gosh, yes. This is gonna be really hard to make, but also is an awesome idea. Okay, how am I gonna make that tip though? I feel like maybe this is the play. This seems like a good tool for this. You get that, that point there? Almost. Yeah, right? Like that? I don't, I don't know. Maybe this isn't the tool for the job. Maybe the, the really skinny one. Just get that, that end off. Oh man, okay, I don't, uh, did I, am I doing this right? I don't think so, I don't think I am. Oh no. Gosh, okay, yeah, no. <sighs> yeah, that kind of got, bad <laughs> I'm gonna cry my ice cream it's ruined it's melting maybe that's our thing like that's our that's our artistic kind of interpretation sure you want ice cream but doesn't ice cream melt right doesn't stay that perfect ice cream shape forever so I am just relaying the idea that ice cream is not forever. And that is my art, okay? Oh, that's not great. I mean, that whole section, I, I, I took it out like way too fast. <laughs> and I am not happy with the results. Although, look at that. That's pretty clean right there. Okay. I mean, again, like this top section, I'm sad that it didn't turn out perfectly, but it could have been worse, right? And I need to get rid of that right there. Oh, no, don't. <sighs> Control your hands, Kian. I need to just, just ever so slightly. Just clean that up. Okay. Stop. You're doing more damage than good. And then we need to sand it, obviously. We need to sand the, the cone part and then get these little grooves. There's a lot of sadness going on up at the top of the, the cone. But I mean, it's made out of wood. It looks pretty good. I wish there was more like of a, of a definition though, like a, a more defined line between the ice cream part and the cone part. But then I feel like I'm gonna lose accuracy if I do that. So you know what? Let's just, just stay here. I need brown. Do I get brown? Is this brown? Yeah, it's brown. Unlock. Now I have brown, like chocolate. <laughs> oh yeah. And then the cone, I mean, the cone is pretty much wood colored, but maybe we try to get a little bit closer to, to what like a cone color would be. Maybe something like that. A little bit. Yeah, this seems pretty good. Okay, I just need to get it to create a nice little line. I I don't know about you guys, but that seems pretty good. I wish, oh man, you know be cool? What is this, dragon egg? Clothes, what? Are, these are just different types of colors, is that what this is? I was gonna say what would be cool is if I could somehow get like sprinkles. I don't think that's a, a possibility though. Like, if I If I just tap, yeah, that's not working. That's, that's not working at all. Now I gotta get rid of this blue spot. Okay, there. It's beautiful. Chocolate ice cream cone. No, we don't add any decals to this. Although, if there was like a sprinkly decal, I, I kinda would have gone for it, but there isn't. And there you have it. Chocolate ice cream. Made out of wood. Don't eat it. That, don't, don't eat it. Accuracy? 96%, why is my accuracy going down? It continues to, to drop. Toilet plunger, yes. 
let's make it. Starting at the top, because I feel like that's gonna be the hardest section. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm a fool. I'm just gonna grind as much of this down. Nice and easy. Okay, stop there. Yeah, we'll work our way up the handle. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Just, just get that little nub. Stinky nub. Get out of here. I don't love it. I don't love what happened there. But I have to accept it. Okay. Uh, should I use this? Is this is this the right tool for this job? I don't know. I really don't. Just give it like the general shape that we're we're going for. Maybe that's why I've been doing wrong. Like I'm not I'm not outlining my plan. I'm just kind of jumping into it. Maybe maybe you need to be a little bit more, you know, planning. Look at this focus. Look at this. Can you see it? I'm I'm, I'm so focused right now. I don't think I've ever focused this hard on any video game and to think that this is bringing out all of my focus. Right there. You got this. You got this. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Hmm. I think I need the, the, the skinny one here to get this little little edge. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Don't. And then I just need to flatten the bottom. That's all I need to do, man. Come on. Let me let me get this whole section gone. I gotta get you out of here. Okay. Yeah. No. Yes. Good. I, th I feel like the, the handle up here needs like just a little groove. Ooh. Maybe I can use this tool to clean up this right here too. And, uh, yes. I think I found the purpose for this tool. And now I'm starting to actually understand how to do this job. Okay. Look at that. That's a pretty sweet looking plunger. We can we can definitely clean this up. I need to the the top section is not great. It's kind of a sharp end for a plunger. When I'm unclogging my toilet, I don't want to be at risk of being impaled by my plunger. Um this design seems to kind of create that situation. Which isn't ideal, but there you go. Kind of looks like a bell now. I'm not gonna lie, but it just—it just needs a little—it needs a little pizzazz. Obviously, we need red for the plunger bit. Everybody knows that's the—that's the part that goes into the toilet. Just remember that. I know sometimes it can be kind of confusing. And then typically the handle is like either wood or black. I think I'm gonna go with black. Actually, I want to go back to brown. Like a wooden handle. Yeah, this is better. Why am I being so particular about a toilet plunger made out of wood? Well, let me reply with a question. Why not be so particular with a toilet plunger made out of wood? Did you ever consider that? That's a great looking toilet plunger. I'm pleased with the results. Let's ruin it by doing that. There you go. Give me the accuracy rating of 100% now. <sighs> I thought maybe being more demanding would give me what I want. 97%. It's not bad, but it's not 100%. And for that, I might have to cry myself to sleep tonight.